It's the final day of May, but before we turn the page on Skin Cancer Awareness Month, we want to dig into a question about how sunscreen works in preventing cancer and if its ingredients cause it. Abby Larico joining us now to verify this. Abby, good morning. Hey, Annie, good morning to you. Dermatologists and healthcare experts have long touted sunscreen as an effective way to prevent sun damage that become, can become cancerous. But we've also heard concerns that sometimes the ingredients in the sunscreen itself can be dangerous. Does sunscreen contain cancer-causing ingredients? We turn to the sources listed here to verify. In one high-profile instance, yes, by accident. In 2021, several Johnson & Johnson sunscreen products were recalled after they were found to contain traces of the carcinogen benzene, which the manufacturer says is not a sunscreen ingredient. On store shelves, you'll see two main types of sunscreen, chemical and physical. American Academy of Dermatology Association defines a chemical sunscreen as one that absorbs the sun's rays using chemicals like oxybenzone. And a physical sunscreen is one that deflects the sun rays with minerals like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. Much of the concern of sunscreen safety comes from research published in the last few years, finding the body can absorb ingredients in chemical sunscreen. Something applied topically can be found in the bloodstream days, even weeks later. Most chemical sunscreens include at least one of these common ingredients, according to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, that haven't been studied closely enough to be fully determined safe. The Environmental Working Group specifically recommends against using sunscreens containing oxybenzone, a potential hormone disruptor. However, Dr. Allison Larson explains the evidence supporting sunscreen's role in preventing cancer outweighs the known risk from absorbing chemicals. If that's a concern, use a physical sunscreen. They simply stay as a layer outside the skin. And these are the sunscreens that used to be the very pasty white. It's totally different these days. You can also minimize risk by wearing a hat and sun protective clothing and staying in the shade or at least out of the sun during the midday hours when its rays are strongest and when lathering on the sunscreen is most crucial. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.